You want to come near Cherokee? <laughs> uh, Cherokee's down in Mount Gambia. Oh! Yeah, I'll tell you what, I would have preferred it. It would have been a lot less cold. We're going to say you wouldn't... <laughs> We're going to say you won't be coming up in this. <laughs> it was very cold. Was cold, all right. I couldn't get this thing started for a while because it was so cold the valves were sticking. And oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a frost here this morning. Hey, yeah, frost. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. I see you've got a lot of sheep out there. Mm, I've got them ready for sheep. Yeah. Oh, it's only 500. Right, okay. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, that'd be right. There's been a Cherokee flying around, so it must be you. You must have got lost. I saw another aircraft uh, on my ice runways um, flying around. Okay. Um, it didn't have a call sign on it. It had a retractable uh, taper wing Cherokee okay. of some sort, okay. an arrow or something. Yeah, yeah. alright, cool. Oh. He must be frozen. <laughs> He's a bit slow getting out, he is. I've got fuel here for the return trip too. That's actually... Uh, this is Chris goes with a couple of things. It's a yeah. carby white. Hey? Got some Maggie's there somewhere too. Tim has owned this tiger moth for just on 34 years. It's in immaculate condition and a credit to him. He recently retired from airlines after 37 years. Uh, this is Kim's engine. Yeah. Yep, just having a, an inspection, make sure it's up to scratch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it'll be right. Now you were saying we had green. There's a green, a 10 now. Right. That's the high new cylinders. Yeah. Okay. Have to turn the rubber view. So these were the ones that were in it. Uh, no, the ones that you had over in the oh, head. Okay. Already had had a ground floor before. Yeah. But the other heads have come off your engine. Right. Bronze heads. And were they okay? Yeah. Yeah. Adverse reports with the high compression pistons. Right. Might get into trouble. That'd be made, in, uh, England's get them made in Germany, but but they, they haven't stamped the num name, number on them, part number. Mm. But now they are. That's why they're in a packet. Yeah. But they're good valves.
Nice piston, don't they? They are. Are they cost much? Yep. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they cost money now, though. How much are these? You know? Uh, what are they now, Dol? Was it? A lot. 3,000. 3,000 for four pistons, isn't it? Was that, that American? Yeah. Uh, 3,000 US? It ain't two years. Is that 3,000 US or Australian? The US. Oh. Ooh. They're a drop forge piston. Yeah. It's been open for a minute. 3,000 for a set. Yeah. Uh, American, I think. Shit. Should. Said you might cost me more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that should be gold plated, shouldn't it? In there, yeah. that's from the forging. They're a Buick forging. And then they machine it with an MC mill. Oh, yeah. That's the original forging, but it's a, a billet that's heated, heated up red hot, and they can get half as much metal in it again. So they've got a part number on them. Hmm. Might be a hell of a big wang when they do it. And the surf you clips, mm. surf clips go in there, but they go around twice. Then you put another one in. There's two surf clips that go around twice. They haven't got the surf clip on the side that does fall off. Mm. Nice piston, aren't they? They are. And they sound good, I guess. Yep. You say, well, people put them in their engine and they can't understand. And then a chipmunk, a chipmunk engine, tick, 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 tick. This is a hell of a shaking and shaking. I don't know what. But these are the Y alloy. They're not aluminium. They have aluminium. Mm -hmm. I think you'll notice a difference, Kim, when you put this engine in. Yes, that will uh, definitely make... Really jump off the ground. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Well, the Hamlin have a little groove around there, yeah. and a, a washer goes over. Yeah. Um, but these don't. But these are airy, or wherever down Melbourne. Mm. Bits and pieces, coil and everything. It's all off the shelf stuff. So, what were those ones off? Where did they come off? 150? Well, off oh, four cylinder. Oh, four cylinder. Any four cylinder. Yep. Yeah, but they're not cheap either. No. A lot of stuff to be made up. This bracket here, steel bracket and stuff. Well, I might wait till the exchange rate gets a bit better on that one. Well, now they're wanting exchange magneto. If you give you one, they want your old one back. But we don't have it. Can be carbies. Carbies. We put the marble Chevrolet carbies on the upright engine. So sixteen hundred dollars. But if you haven't got it shown, they're twenty six hundred. Hmm. For that carby. Marble Chevrolet. You know, if we don't have it, carbies they send back. Uh, it's a wonder you think they would have, wouldn't you? They got heaps of bloody planes over there. That's right. Blind shaft. Yeah, that's a totally fly. different. Yep, blind heavy duty shaft. The, the mains are three millimeters bigger, right through. Yep. What do you got on this one? Oh, that's a spine. Lot, lot better shaft. More yep. solid. Yeah, you won't break one of them. Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, they're made for metal propellers. Very very propeller, they are. Okay. Chipmunk use them. Aerobatics. Yep. Now when when they di when they're dismantling like if, if someone that doesn't have any knowledge about these engines just starts dismantling these engines, what's the problem that comes up mostly? Is it the timing cover with the taco? Ah, you got to take the taco off first before you start dismounting. Oh, that'll be this. The, that'll be this, won't it? It breaks the taco. So there's no taco on there. It's already out. It's already out. Where is the? It's, it goes in through there. Oh yeah, in there. Yeah. That's got to be dismantled first. The taco's got to come out first. Yeah. Otherwise, you break the housing. Yep. And how many have done that? Plenty of people, backyarders do that. 
<laughs> okay. Now, what else do I want to know, really? Um, so, boop, boop. I don't know. I'm trying to think. That's a spline hub. Oh, that's hub. a spline hub. Yep, that's a spline hub. Yep. And this other one's just a, a taper hub. <coughs> yep. So you can see the difference. It's got the key, that's a spline. Yep, it's blowing yeah. heavy duty. Yeah, you won't break that. No. You break, not able to break that more. Well, <laughs> yeah. the shaft breaks off in it. Yeah. That's the problem. Gee, they look good, don't they? Gypsy engines that's that were built. The number of engines that yeah. they built. That's poured on the vacuum, that metal. Yeah. It's a, uh, a mill spec. But a bloke that used to make the stuff for uh, Gippsland or uh, make the air vans, all the bits for him, he makes them down in Gippsland for mm -hmm. us. On NC lays, automatic computer, computer control lays. Right. Well, you're lucky to have him around. Well, see, he's looking for work now. Because You gotta hold the can. <laughs> you gotta help them hold the bottom of the can. Oh, it's leaking. Got a hole in it. Beautiful day. Couldn't get a better day to fly, could you really? As long as it's like this when you get home. That's not too bad then, is it? No. It's, you know, it's just oil. Um, Can't you turn around to make these anymore? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Well, how do you get them made up now? You can get a couple of bits made in your gym. Right. $400, right? Eh? oil in the engine. Um, <laughs> so it's used 900 mil in, oh. in 1 hour 55. Um, so that's not bad. It's about half a, you know, less than half a litre. That would seem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it'll settle down a bit more too, won't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, it should do, I guess. It's done. It's done about 65 hours now. This engine. And uh, oil was coming out between the. Rocker box. Oh, the top and, box. Yeah, oh, crack. Uh, the head. Yeah. Oh. And so we took it off and changed the box and. Yep. Um, but I noticed there's still a drip of oil here, right? And yeah, it's probably yeah. blowing around, coming you out of the one of here somewhere or other. Yeah. So I'm not too sure whether it's coming because we did change the base. So maybe it's coming from the front one, oh. or I don't know. You put red elastic on the in between. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'm not must, too it, sure. must expect a little leak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a jag car. You expect there would be oil on the floor in the morning, sort of thing, when yeah. you take her home. So. But look at it. Look, you know, like I've just flown for yeah. two hours. Yep. And, and yeah, I suppose there's. The, the, I'm not too sure where that's come from. Up here, that was leaking, you know. This this one here was leaking. Next to the oh, oil the gallery. The, the plug? No, oh. the, the bolt. Bolt, okay. Yeah. Just to tighten it. So. so we took that out and half cleaned it up. I, I tried it and it didn't work, so he's, he's done it. But look, I think maybe we're getting some coming out of that still. Maybe not. 
Well, so that's a paper gasket. That's not, uh, you haven't got seal on that. All right. But the top, that's done with 518, which is special Loctite. Aluminium to aluminium. Yeah. No oil leaks in the mag drives either, so those seals really work. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, some of this could be also that we've lubricated it a bit. And, yeah. You know, getting a bit... The air up. blows it around. You don't know where yeah. it's coming from. Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'd like if I can get one, Robert. Yeah. Is a plate. Here. I have to find you a plate. Oh, the plate, the yeah. new number on it or something. Yeah, but we yeah. say that all the time. But I think yeah. It's been nine years or ten years, we still yeah. haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't rush these jobs. <laughs> no, you can't rush them. You don't have them just lying around, do you? <laughs> no, that's the problem. For the gypsies, I got new ones made. The yeah. gypsy too. Yeah. Mob down Melbourne made them. Oh, well, I, can, I might have to go down there and get them made up, but then probably cost a fortune. But... Um, yeah, I'd love to get I'd, one. I'd better write down the number and uh, look around. See if it might have been, came with one that might not have, I don't know. No, I didn't have one. Didn't have one, no. no. Um, and I'd love to get a new prop. Um, if you don't know where this one is, do you? A new one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hoffman. Different, different prop. Hoffman prop? Yeah, I don't Chris used the Hoffman, on. the same prop on the Tiger and the... Oster, he yeah. imports them all the time. Yeah, but the Hoffman doesn't look right. Hoffman's nice prop, but it doesn't look right. Well, uh, what turned it to heaven, is it? Yeah, this is to heaven. I think the bloke's still in Sydney. Oh, he's moved somewhere, 6'4", 4'11". When you put a bigger engine in, you want a fraction, a bit more cut. Right here? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So what sort of prop would you... Well, you can go to a 5.1. Yeah. That's so used... 4.11. I used to have a 5.1. He's just uh, said he'll fit it in if he can. Okay, what's, what's his name? Uh, David Green. Green, yeah. Green, yeah David he's Green. moved north, hasn't he? He's not in Sydney anymore, I don't think, is he? Uh, deflectors? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yep. yep. <laughs> you, you need that for the long grass. Well, it seems so. <laughs> That's why they won't use them in New Zealand, because they reckon it'll hit the grass and pull the brake on. Yeah, you do that. You made them? Well, uh, Harvey, Harvey's guy uh, right. and I did it together. Uh. Good idea, actually, yeah. figured it out. That's a damn good idea. I've never yeah. thought of that before. But it makes it go faster, too. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> well, you could say, with the tail in the, in, the, in, the up, in the level attitude, you might get a bit of lift out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be stretching it a bit, though. Yeah, well, might I haven't be... noticed it going any slower, anyway. How long have you had them tires? <laughs> <laughs> 1952 and 1954, I think. <laughs> I've had them. Look, I had them when I bought them, and I took them off. Yep. You was using the, uh, the smooth threads. Yeah. Well, they won't last long as on bitumen. No, they didn't last long at all. They only lasted a few months. That's right. Because I was doing joy fights, and then I thought, well, geez, they were so expensive. Well, Dessa, yeah. Dessa are like that now. Huh? Hey? Dessa, Dessa tyres. You can get Dessa, not uh, like one from England. Dessa are made in America, but they're a treaded tyre like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got a, a not a tread like that, though, is it? It's a cross pattern, isn't it? Like oh, what it is. Yeah, like I've a seen them on the, they advertise the hope on that I they they Trader. Called, I thought they were called Classic. No? Aviation Trader, they advertise them. Oh, do they? Mm. What are they called? Dessa. G double S E R. J D D D double S E R. Dessa. D double S E R. Dessa. And they might get some of in Sydney or somewhere. Yeah. Keep them. Well, you know, I've got big radial cracks in there. Yep. Yep. And it, it actually catches the grass, and you can see the grass caught in them. Mm. They're that bad, but. 
um, it's always been like that and I've never given way, you know. Sometimes you might land out in the bush somewhere and you might get home in the hurry and you haven't got a tyre. You know all that mongrels have put on those tyres, not having a split rim. Oh, they're horrible. And especially when they're that old. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get a bit hard. You get a bit hard there. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Unbelievable. But, but the genuine smooth tread, they're ridiculous. It's something like a thousand dollars now. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah, you just wear them out. They wear yeah. out too quick. Yeah. See you in Aubrey now, you've got to take your jacket off. You're not in Melbourne anymore. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm starting to warm up a little bit. I'm just done. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going down to the house. Yeah, okay. Thought I needed to find the boxes that go over the magnetos to get the shield and armor. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, let's pull that out. Mm -hmm. Clear. Yep.
It still goes pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah. Still goes pretty well for a for a, a 128. Yeah, it's actually good, isn't it? Eh? The airframe never had good condition. Yeah, it goes well for a, what just a 128, doesn't it? Then it's been 60 hours since changed the engine. Yeah. I don't know why he wants that the engine so urgent. That's got head clock uh, oil control ring. Tell you it takes a long time to fill them out and get the everything on, get them ready. It's going to be hours, you know, have a lot of hours. 